Hey guys, it's Juliana, and I am working on a pattern test, and I'm almost finished. I'm just sewing on the pockets at the moment. Yeah, it's trying to escape. This is a super awesome pattern test that I am getting to do for um, at Cactus and Lace Designs, and it's the Paisley Cardigan. And I'm almost finished. It's been a pretty big project. Um, it's been a really fun one too. So I'm just doing mattress stitch to attach pockets. It's a sweater. Mm -hmm. It is. It's a cardigan, a sweater cardigan. I can't wait to show you guys how it looks when it's all done and we're so super close. We are super duper close. It's like a rainbow, mm -hmm. all different colors. Yeah, so I got to use scrap yarn. So this, um, her pattern idea was for scrap yarn. You could do it in a solid color, of course, or in really any colors, but this is all from yarn extras that I had from projects. Pretty and, awesome. Yeah, and actually there's still like a lot more. <laughs> so I could practically make a whole nother one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you can see, she has a whole entire basket full of the scraps from here. Yep, that's what's left after making this guy. That's a lot. Yeah, I can still make quite a few. The biggest one I can see is this white one. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the... Pretty. I, didn't, I don't think I used that one on the sweater. I ended up not using it. So, I mean, there's some maybe in there that I didn't even use. Because mm -hmm. I have a lot of scraps. Of course you do. <laughs> as soon as we get, as soon as I get through this part, it will be finished. I will try it on and it's, show you guys what it looks like. It, are you just finishing up the little stitches down there? That's um, I do. have to go down this bottom and then I have to go up the other side. So like, like this, this so down side. over here, like this. this way, and then up here. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I'll be done. Very precise. Yeah, it's, it is a little bit, not too bad. I mean, I have to obviously have to pay attention to what I'm doing and I'm trying to keep it so that it's, you know, sort of even and it's gonna match the other pocket and all that jazz. Mm -hmm, I can see you um, tying it and stuff. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I pinned it in a few places so that it wouldn't wiggle on me too much and I did count stitches in between. Very soon on when you, that you, you attached it, and now it's going to be like, like this. Mm -hmm. Now it's ready for me to warm my hands up in it or put something in there, carry on my chapstick, mm -hmm. the car keys. Yep. Whatever it is. Ponies that sister gives me <laughs> to randomly hold. <laughs> also, she's going to be making, after this, she's going to make me a, um, some gloves. Mm -hmm. Yep. Some boys gloves for my boy. Yep, I haven't decided on which pattern to use for that, but we will figure it out. I went to my earrings. You told me how to do it, and then I made like a little cool strand kind of mm -hmm. thing. Yep, they were really pretty blue, like a royal blue almost. Mm -hmm. I remember this. I'm pretty sure I still have them. I gotta hunt them down though, but mm -hmm. I think they're in my jewelry box. You have finished it for this part. Look, no. I only have to do this side now. How long will that take? I don't know, five minutes maybe? All right. So, do you think they're gonna get bored if we if we keep doing it? I don't know. We just have to keep talking to them about interesting stuff. Oh, you know? Okay. Okay. What can we talk about? I don't know, like your business and stuff. Well, if you don't already know, the business is Blue Door Barn, and I crochet lots of stuff. It's on Etsy. <laughs> it is. I'm on Etsy. I am on Facebook. I am on Instagram. And you can find a bunch of stuff there, like, um, like, there, she made, she makes uh, jackets like this sometimes, too. Mm -hmm. Jackets. There's also a dinosaur snow globe for Christmas. Yep. We made one of those, and it hasn't been, it, no one really has gotten one yet. Well, that's okay. We made it, that's the most fun part, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's the most fun part. And it was, it was, you know, our idea to do it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> no patterns needed. We made up the pattern. That's right. We just made it ourselves. Very nice. Hmm, this one's being a little tricky here. Come on now. 
Okay. Um, Let's just look at the colors. Like, yeah. Here's green. It's a nice green color. Here's um kind of like a mixy kind of grayish color. Mm -hmm. Here's a beautiful blue. Here's kind of a, a brownish color. Kind of brown, really dark red almost. Here is, here if you see, here this little strand here. This is a nice dark red. Nice like velvet cake almost. Mm, looks like it. Red velvet cake? Yeah. <laughs> Yum. Red velvet cake in my sweater? Sweet! That'd be awesome. Never here taking it off. Over here we got some more red velvet. Mm -hmm. We got a nice beautiful kind of like golden uh, thingy here. Like a yellow. Mm -hmm. You are almost done. What's this kind of color? This This is this is a mm -hmm. kind of like a if you it almost reminds me like if you had a purple something and then you just put in water for like a night. And then you take that. <laughs> yeah. Some of the color's gone, but it, it's still beautiful. It makes me think of like a dusty rose, but a dusty purple instead. So. It's it, it's like um I don't know. I don't know. It just looks like it looks like uh, the kind of knitting material that grandmas use a lot. Yeah. I like the same color that they like. You know what's really crazy is that sometimes my hair gets in the stitches. <laughs> That's funny. I have to wear my hair back. And I will literally be like crocheting my hair into a work. Ooh, I just got a weird idea. I wonder if you had enough hair, you would be able to make like an actual like something out of it. Oh, that'd be funny. Kind of weird. Uh, yeah, but it would be funny. Mm-hmm. Would definitely be an uh, interesting you, you piece. You have finished it. I'm almost there. I have like, Two stitch, like this, this stitch right here. Stitch it. Stitch it. Do it. And Do it. it clips in the way. Get out of the way. Ah. And I got to go back this. Move this thing out of the way. I go back this way. And there you go. And then I'm going to sort of feed this through here. I'm going to go inside here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make a knot so that it doesn't come undone. Mm -hmm. Nice little knot there. There we go. Like this. Okay. And then I'm going to weave in this end so that it doesn't um, come, you know, like when I want to wash it. It's all woven into the work. You mean the little last bit of string? Yeah, so it doesn't have like little strings just flying all over the place. I mean, could... Hey, we're filming, Papa. Yeah, we're filming. But, um, see, so we've this all in. So it sort of disappears. Mm -hmm. Very pretty, I see it. Mm -hmm. it. There is some Papa sound effects in the background. Oh yeah, that's because Papa just got in. Yeah, probably just got home, I think. Yep, he was at the gym. The gym. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's see. Just going to weave in a little tiny bit more. And then we can get a nice shot of you doing it. You know, like, you know, like, you know. Oh, you want me to try it on? Yeah, I want you to try it on. Okay. Okay, I can almost do that. You're so close. Yep, I'd say that's good. And now you're going to cut it. Cut it. Boop. Boop. All Turn right. Turn it right side out. Look at it. Admire it. You're going to be able to admire it. Better Look, it looks like a sweater. Yeah. Put it on. Hey, my woven end sticking out. What? Get in there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now it's time to see the finishing touch. Uh, not exactly a good outfit with what I got on with that. Okay. But it's going to look nice anyways. Ta-da! Can you see me? Yes, we, they can see you. Check it out. Very nice. I got my tag. Where's my tag? There's my tag. The door barn tag. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah, I fell. <laughs> I need to um, block it a little bit because then I can get this to stay straight. Mm -hmm. But check it out. Very nice. <laughs> you want to say goodbye? Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah.